So she's a meth addict. Would not the defense attorneys, uh, we can go to uh, Ross, would you not agree that your client is a methamphetamine addict? I think that she may have used meth before, but so did Mark. And just to allude to the previous commentator's um, issue regarding whether or not he feared for his life while he was in the bathtub, you have to understand that Gloria gave him baths on a weekly basis, if not every two weeks. And Mark Richards requested the bath. He had uh, bed sores. He had uh, 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 pressure sores. He wanted to take that bath. And more importantly, he was always in voice contact with Gloria. Mark was propped up on a flotation device. His feet, his feet were secured on a pillow. The water, the bath was halfway filled. And he could always yell for Gloria, who was 14 feet away from him. Let's go back to the phones. Angie from Ohio, your question for us. Uh, yes, ma'am. If she couldn't get her, if she supposedly couldn't get her husband in out of the tub, how did she get him in there? You know, that is a, a very good question. Maybe we should go out to uh, one of the defense attorneys uh, for Gloria Guzman, Ross Goodman. How did she get him into the tub in the first place? Because I understand, according to the prosecution, the wheelchair was not in the bathroom. It was in the living room. Well, it was, and just to go back, uh, the reason why she gave him baths and why he and why he was in the bath is because he requested it, and she would simply just take him out of the wheelchair in a bear hug and put him in the tub, uh, and then move the wheelchair out into the next room so she could go back and forth. It was a very small apartment. Well, let's get to the brass tacks.